In response to public requests to bring pet dogs to the Janesville Farmers Market, the Janesville Farmers Market Board of Directors has enacted a new policy to permit pet dogs at the market with some conditions. Owners must use a maximum six foot leash, no retractable leashes, and must either carry the dog or keep a muzzle on the dog. A basket muzzle, which enables the dog to pant and drink water, is recommended for the comfort of the dog. Service dogs are not subject to these conditions. The Janesville Farmers Market strives to create a safe environment at the market and will inform pet owners of the new policy. Only pet owners who re repeatedly violate the policy or pet owners with dogs who show aggression will be asked to leave the market. The new pet policy goes into effect immediately and the Janesville Farmers Market welcomes pet owners. If you have comments or concerns over the dog policy, please feel free to contact the Board of Directors at board at janesvillefarmersmarket.com or the manager at manager at janesvillefarmersmarket.com. My name is Teresa Feiner, manager of the Janesville Farmers Market, and I'm here with Elmer Scott of Elmer's Kettle Corn, and he's going to tell us how he makes kettle corn. Well, I really don't do a whole lot to make the kettle corn. I just turn the uh, pot on, put the oil and sugar in. It gets up to about uh, almost 500 degrees, starts to pop, and we then try to cool it down a little bit, salt it, bag it up. It's pretty much the process. When uh, things are really hopping down here, uh, it gets real warm in the tent, and we just keep popcorn flowing. We sit across the way from Elmer, the information booth, and we get to smell the delicious kettle corn all the time. It is awesome. Elmer, how long have you been at the market? I've been here since the, since they started the market back up. Uh, was that seven years now? Uh -huh. And uh, the first couple of years I was here part-time because I had other events scheduled. Uh, but the last five years I've pretty much just been a seasonal vendor here and most of the time I've been at the farmer's market. How long have you been doing farmer's markets? This is the only farmer's market I was doing. Oh, up okay. Up until uh, uh, Nature's Touch started there. Okay. So I do two farmer's markets. I do the music on Main Street in uh, June and July, every summer that uh, the city sponsors. And then I've done uh, Freedom Fest, Labor Fest, the 4th of July down at the Traxler Park, uh, Rock Around the Block. Okay. So I'm at, I try to get into anything that the city is involved with sure. here in town. How so. long have you been making kettle corn? For nine years now. Okay. Kettle corn expert. Uh, in fact, this July would be, yeah, nine full years I've been making kettle corn. Wow. Well, thanks, Elmer. Oh, oh, thank you. Would you like some, would you like some for yourself? <laughs> thank you. Oh, this is mine. How that works? Part of the idea of having this bag is so she can share with you a little bit more easily. So I'll give you one, too, and you guys can share, okay? Thank you.
You're welcome. Thanks for coming down today. We've had a request to do that one more time. There were a couple of kids that would do it the second time, having watched it the first. Kids, you ready for The Heat Is On one more time? All right. One more time, The Heat Is On. You can do it with the girls right there. Hi, I'm Darlene from Sachet Acres. We have mushrooms. We have a variety of different flavored brats. We're going to have a new brat next week, which is going to be a garlic brat. We have a very popular one that is mushroom Swiss. We raise all our own meat. We have fresh eggs. And our garden is starting to come in. We have fennel and celery. We hope to see you down here next week. Thanks.
can also do mint lemonade as well. Because those are classic flavors together. Not hard to do. They look gorgeous. More. You have to release, you have to muddle it because you got to release the oils from. Camera. Oh, 